I'm back again, folks, with another video. And this is gonna be called Ungrateful Black Women. Uh, I was I watched this video on my on, on my YouTube page yesterday, and uh, this guy was saying he took this this lady to a restaurant, and uh, she asked him like it, this is not one of them buffet places, and he was like, yeah. And she was like, well, I don't eat at them kind of places. I eat fine dining and stuff. So I told my homeboy about it. And, I, and we were like, okay, get, okay. Let, let's text your homegirls on your phone and see what they'll say. So we he touched them. Uh, what did he text them? How he put it? Damn, how he put it? How he put it? How he put it? Like oh would you like will you have a problem if you would you have a problem going to a, a buffet place to eat like on the first date? So he texted to him and the way I'm thinking a buffet place like that if it's a, a okay place and clean and you know what I'm saying, straight to eat it, yeah, for a first date, you know what I'm saying, trying to get to know each other. And then after that after you get a couple more dates in or whatever, yeah. So, so he waited and then the text, they came back. They was like, hell no, nah, that's cheesy, that's cheap. I don't want to go to no buffet place. Not on no first date. And I, we like, huh? So, we did the obvious, okay? We asked them where they'd probably like to go then. Taste bite, oh, red lobster, Applebee's. Chillies, you know what I'm saying? Really, wait, where y'all gotta pick the high end places? Why you just can't take the the buffet for the first date so we can get to know each other? Then, after if everything goes smooth, then we'll, you know what I'm saying, go to the high place like that, like on our power third or fourth date. Then we'll go to some place like that. But no, we want to go to Red Lobster. Like, and see what I'm thinking. The way I'm thinking is, soon as you take them to the high ass restaurant, first thing going they nine times ten that they're gonna do, they gonna stop picking up for your phone call. And then when you finally do run into them, they gonna throw you some kind of excuse. Oh, uh, I was, I've been busy, or somebody in my family was sick, or I've been out of time. I ain't had no phone reception. Don't don't do that bullshit. And see where it is. Once you take them to that place, they already know if they gonna date you or not. Because if they see what kind of ride you got, or how you dress, and all that bullshit like that right there. So they got the free meal. They get back with their friend. Go. He took me to Red Lobster. He took me here, and I don't really like him like that. And then you know, they got their friends. Well, at least you got a free meal out of it. See ungrateful ungrateful black women that's why there are so many y'all sin because y'all so damn ungrateful yeah it, it, it's not the point of going to a high-ass restaurant it's the, it's the point of appreciating it you know i saying appreciate the small things man instead of always want to go up here to the high end so you can sit back and brag and let folks see you good i saw you at so and so with your with that man, he, he he treat you good. He took you to Red Lobster. It ain't about that. It's about appreciating the small thing. But see, y'all don't appreciate that shit because y'all some ungrateful ass creatures. And uh, and I'm like, so we, we we still texting them and they like, okay, what if? What what uh, okay? What about when y'all get ready to take us out to eat? And one of them replied, yeah, I take y'all. You know what I'm saying to a high place, and then one one asshole respond to myself. I don't give a damn about a nigga. So basically, you want the man to sit here and take you to the high ass place, but you ain't stand the man though. You want the man? Oh, uh, I feed him anything here. It, it. See, see, ungrateful, ungrateful ass creature, dog. And they see why so many of them so single right now. Come on, that's why. You're ungrateful. Y'all don't appreciate shit, man. If a man taking his time, his hard, hard-earned money to take you somewhere to eat, well, you ain't got to pay 
you shouldn't be picking. You should be appreciated. And, and if he treat you like a woman, you should be appreciated appreciate that and be happy. Don't complain. Don't be sitting up with an attitude. Just sit there and say, yes, I had a great time. Thanks for taking me out. And see, if you say that to him, and he sees that you appreciate it, he might take you to a, a high-end restaurant to eat. But see, y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't get it. Y'all got that attitude like the world owe y'all something, but the world don't owe y'all shit. And uh, <clears throat> I, I thought about that that whole night. I'm like, that that's real ungrateful. That they say that. That's cheap and cheesy. Hey, the way I'm looking at you, go to a buffet, man, you can go home happy. You go home full, got your belly full. And then if you want to take a little extra home, ask for a doggy bag, bam, take it to the high. Now, that's how I tell you, you can't do that at them high-end restaurants. Sometimes they don't give you no doggy bag or something to take your food home with. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what wrong with black women, man, because it, it just, ugh. Nigga, if a cat working a, a, a decent little job, he bringing money home to keep the lights and food the refrigerator, they want more. You know, you need to get more money. You need to work here. You need to do this. Like, what what, what, what you going to do? What you doing besides sitting around trying to be the boss? And see, like, like Bernie Mac said, that they want to be your mama. Your daddy, your pastor, your teacher, your guys counselor. They want to be your boss. Come on, you can't. And then, and then we try to tell y'all what the damn do. Y'all, y'all ready to damn go off? Tell nigga, you who the fuck you is? You ain't my mama. You ain't my daddy. You don't tell me what the damn do. But y'all want, but y'all want us to sit there and listen to y'all. No, see. That's why I have. That's why. I, that's why I have for these black women these days are single because they got that attitude of they don't care and they ungrateful. So long as y'all keep them attitudes like that, y'all gonna be single for the rest of y'all life. Somebody asked me that you don't want. Yeah, but she, she gotta have an attitude. That's definitely that that's bearable, not when you every time you try and you bitches complain about some shit. Run to the phone to your home girls and go over tell you about this nigga and he took me home. Huh? See? I ain't got time for that shit. That's why they call it you can take the girl out the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out the girl. So I I don't know dog, because that 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 shit that was real stupid. Especially when the one said she don't care about the nigga. Hey, you the one, and I hate when they say, I look for somebody to help me take care of the kids. If you really think about it, I, I, I ain't got to take care of nothing. Number one, they made my kid. You know what I'm saying? And two, the baby daddy's still out there somewhere. Uh, running the streets, having fun, spending money. So, go over there and harass that nigga about some money. So, I'm, I'm sorry. If they ain't mine, I ain't been... I'm sorry, if it ain't mine, I used to take care of it, because, yeah, because nine times out of ten, I, you don't took care of the kids so far, and they don't win it, behind your back, found another dude, well, I gotta let you go, or I can't see you no more, I found somebody else, basically, you were using that damn man, like, like, with the restaurant thing, so, you used the man for a free meal, and you knew, instead of just keeping it, well, I can't talk to you right now. I can't use the man for a free meal. That's why, I believe that's why they say let's go to the high places so they can get that free meal and go back and break with their friends. I'm like, yeah, I went here. Huh? I tricked that nigga to go on to him. Stupid, man. See? Ungrateful. Ungrateful ass creatures. And you see and you see why most black men date other race or date white women. Because they can't deal with this shit no more, man. Y'all sit on this Y'all sit on this 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 fucking pedestal y'all on. Acting like the world just Oh bow down to me, I'm this, I'm the black woman. 
Oh, we we struggling, man. Y'all don't fucking struggle. Y'all look, y'all kill with that shit though. But oh boy, I don't know. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me see. Did that happen to me before I took somebody to eat? Yeah, that happened to me. I, when I think about it, took the took this cat. You know what I'm saying? Be, be, being nice, being the good guy that I am. Like I said. I, it, it, it's true that we good guys finish last but we finish wet strong so I took this girl to FB and she being real picky about her food and you know what I'm saying she like well, I want a steak with no with no garlic sauce on that and, and the girl trying to tell her it's already meat already come all they meats come pre season and she kept complaining about that. What is this here? What that? So, she never tell the girl she want her steak well done or me around. So, steak come back. It was, it was, it had a little pink in there. She cut it. Uh, it's this too pink. This too pink. I'm looking like, really? And the, and the waitress was looking at me like, is she crazy? I'm like, shit, I don't know. So, she took it back. Let it cook some more. Bring it back again, and, and she cut it again. Same damn color. Oh, this fine. And I'm like, you could have kept the first one. Ain't nothing different from D two. See, they don't appreciate that. And then she t takes me. Well, if I take you out, you got to pay your own way. What kind of bullshit is this? So I don't want to take you here. Pay for your food and my food. Then you turn around and text me and say I gotta pay for my own food if we go out. Really, really. I, 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 I don't even think I touched about what you said. That. Uh, that that I don't know. See, they just I don't know, man. They just need to learn how to. They need to learn how to appreciate stuff more, and be very grateful that somebody, at least somebody, showing them some attention. Because a dude might see that attitude. Oh no, I can't deal with her. Uh uh. She she got this attitude like she the king. You know what I'm saying? Or the queen? She trying to be a king and the queen. No. Uh, be, be, be appreciative that somebody is, is paying you some attention giving you some kind of activity or something to keep your mind focused or something because that shit I mean I'm, I'm still tripping to this day I'm still tripping dog by that take off the red laughter but I don't give a damn about the nigga damn <laughs> oh my god, man. I don't know what to say about him, dog. I hate to say it, dog. I think I'd rather stay single, man. Because I'd rather stay single than put up with that, that, that attitude they got. And, and they be single, dog, because I think I'd rather be, yeah. Because dealing with them attitudes like that, it don't, it don't work. Because you see anybody mad at the world. I don't know what's wrong with them. I can't tell you. I'm trying to see uh, what else I want to talk about. I don't know. I'm trying to see. They, they just ungrateful, dog. And then us, I'm trying to see. Uh, and oh yeah, like about with, with, with the uh, restaurant thing. And yeah, well, we, he take one on like, well, if we go to, a, if y'all take us to a buffet, we ain't gonna damn bitch and complain like y'all live. You know what I'm saying? We be here. We like I said, some 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 do do appreciate the small thing. You ain't got to try to go out and, and impress us. It can be the smallest little thing. Like, oh, if you did that for me, thank you. 
you know what I'm saying? But see, with, with, with the women, you gotta, you gotta come be, you gotta go spend all this money, and, I wonder where they get that. I believe they get that attitude from their mom. That's why I believe they get that shit from from their mom. But we appreciate the small little thing. You take her to a yeah. If you even stop by McDonald's with me and buy me a a, a cheeseburger from Fry, nigga, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm that good for me. I don't care. I bet the end of money you take her buy a McDonald's just to just to just to. Get some of the snack on, like you going out of town. Well, I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, one of them say, surprise me. Nine times ten. So, like, you do, you cook at home. She ain't gonna say that about the rice. She's probably had that, that. It's like, I know damn what this nigga ain't gonna try to do this. Or do a picnic for. I don't, I don't want to eat outside. I ain't got time. You, you just said, surprise you. So, I got I can cook for you. Or set up a picnic. Or take you somewhere to eat. So I decided to, to, to do the picnic or cook for it. You got some more that probably appreciate, but half nine times out of ten, you gonna have that asshole. Uh, I don't want to eat outdoors. I, I want to go to a restaurant and see nine times ten when they say that shit. That I want to go to a restaurant and eat. That's the, that's so they can brag and, and, and show off to their friend and then. You try to call back, they ain't gonna pick up the phone, or they gonna you run into them in the street, they'll give you some kind of excuse. Oh, I was out of time, my phone had no good reception. See, that's why y'all getting left behind. That's why so many of y'all getting left behind. I need to change y'all attitude, be more grateful, and and, and just stop acting like y'all the boss. But Y'all, y'all can't help it. Like I say, it come down to y'all these songs. Y'all be listening to the radio. If y'all look at them songs, them folks are telling a story. It probably ain't even happened to them. They probably just made that shit up on the fly. And y'all sit there and believe that shit. And think that's the way y'all supposed to be. But I don't know. I, I I'm just puzzled. I'm just still tripping off that about that restaurant shit though. I don't give a damn about the nigga. Uh, and I think I think he said she got some kids. Think she got three kids. That's why, right there. You you <laughs> whoever that girl was, she mad at her three baby dads or two baby dads or one baby dad because. He ain't stand her ass no more. So don't don't take all your aggression out on us. Because you because you mad. Nah. You know, let me see. Uh oh, I can't think of nothing else. But uh if you like the video, you know what to do.